and oh my god, I haven't been on this channel in three weeks. I'm so sorry guys, I've been gone. Um, a lot of things have gotten in the way. I had a surgery done. If you aren't following me on Twitter or Snapchat, you wouldn't know about that. But anyway, the point is I'm back. And today's video is going to be a what is on my iPhone 7. I haven't done a what's on my iPhone video in over a year. And you guys have been requesting it so much after I told you guys that I got the new phone. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I have the iPhone 7 in matte black and I'm obsessed with it. The phone I had before this was the iPhone 5S and I'm so happy with this. It's so much better and faster and just everything is just better. But anyway, I'm going to be showing you guys what is on here today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because you've been requesting it like crazy and let's get straight into it. So the background I have on my phone is just this picture that I took while I was on the color run. It recently came to where I live and me and my friends decided to do it and we took a couple cute pictures and I decided to set it as my background because I thought it was a cute idea but that's that. So moving on to the actual inside of my phone, I just have this picture of some penguins. I thought it was cute and I didn't really know what else to set as my background. I just have two pages on my phone. The first page is simple apps that I don't really use that come with the phone. And then the second page is all the apps like social medias and games and random stuff. But yeah, I'm not going to talk much about the apps that come with the phone, but this is just kind of what the setup is. I have all of them right there, and then I have a boring folder where I just keep some stuff that I don't want to delete because iOS 10 has a new feature where you can delete stuff. But I don't want to delete this stuff, and I don't really use it either way, but I just have it in there. I have a taxi app and then music and stuff like that. Yeah. So moving on to the second page, I just have Instagram as the first app in the left corner. And yeah, I love Instagram. This is what mine looks like. You should totally follow me if you aren't already. I used to have more of like a bright colorful theme and I'm in the process of changing it to make it a little bit darker right now. So I have four pictures that are a little bit darker. But yeah, you should totally follow me on there. Even though I'm not that active, not gonna lie. Um, but yeah. Then the next app I have is Twitter, which I'm obsessed with. It's definitely one of my favorites. I love retweeting just funny stuff on there and talking to you guys on there too, which is super fun for me. But yeah, my handle on there is just MS Hannah Beauty, and I love just tweeting out random stuff and being super real with you guys on here. Yeah. And then, of course, Snapchat. I'm pretty sure every single teenager with a phone has Snapchat. It's amazing. You know, the filters, the dog one, all of that type of stuff. It's chill, you know? Also, love talking to you guys on here. My username is just Hannah Soda Pop, and I will put the little thing right here so you can add me if you want. I have a couple things on my story right now. Let's watch it. Yeah, I just love adding random stuff on here. You know, it's a it's a fun time, so definitely go add me. Then I have Musical.ly, which everyone knows what that is. I just love going on there sometimes. And my email, which I'm surprised I have all my emails read because usually there's like 50 in there. But yeah, hashtag proud email reader. <laughs> then you now, which I love going live on. I haven't been live in a while, and I think I might go live tonight while I'm editing this video. But yeah, that's super fun. Definitely go fan me on there. I think it's just Miss Hannah Beauty, same as my Twitter. And then I have Vine, which I also barely ever use. I just have it on there for sometimes when I'm bored, just to play around with. And Skype, obviously you guys know what that is. I just use that for private reasons. And then next up is my Instagram folder. And you guys always have questions on how I edit my Instagram pictures. And it's honestly the most simple thing ever. I just use VSCO cam. So yeah, this is what my like editing page looks like. So recently for my darker theme, I've been using the filter B1 or B2 to get the darker effect. And when I had a brighter theme, I used to use the filter E1. I did pay for that though, so it depends on how dedicated you are to your Instagram. Then I also have Facetune, which I don't use to Photoshop myself. You guys probably know that I'm not that type of person. But I love smoothing out my skin if my skin looks bad or I just have a huge pimple. And I used to use this a lot to whiten my backgrounds because it fit my theme a lot better. Then I have touch blur, which I also barely ever use, but it works when you need to blur something out. For example, if you had your school logo or a license plate or anything like that in a picture. Then I have Boomerang, which is super fun. It's not an editing app, but it is used for Instagram. Pretty much, it takes like five different pictures and combines them into a video. And I, I don't really know how to explain it, but here's some examples. If you don't know what it is, it's super cool. Definitely recommend downloading it if you don't have it. And then lastly, I have Snug, which is really good for organizing your Instagram feed. You can move around pictures that you might want to post, and it shows you your feed before, and you can really organize when you want to post stuff and all of that type of stuff. Next up, I have YouTube Studio, which is really helpful for if you have a YouTube channel. It gives you all your analytics, and you can reply to comments and make videos public and all that stuff from your phone, which is really helpful. 
And then the last folder I have is just this one for a ton of random stuff. I have my EOS remote, which is for my camera when I want to get pictures from my camera onto my phone. Then charades, which is super fun to play at times. Then Shazam, and I'm pretty sure everyone knows what this is, but in case you don't, if you're playing a radio on the song and you want to find out what it is, you press the Shazam button and it'll tell you what it is. And it's just super helpful to find different songs. Then Clue, which is a period tracker app, definitely recommend getting one of these because it's really helpful to keep up with your cycle. I love how I'm saying this so casually. Is that TMI? I'm sorry, you guys. And then Genius, which is super fun too. It just gives you the lyrics to any song that you need. So for example, if I wanted to know the lyrics to The Real Slim Shady, I could search that up and it would show up right away and that's what I use to memorize rap songs. <laughs> then Bitmoji, which links to your Snapchat and gives you super cool emojis to use in there. Then Pinterest, which I use when I need to find video ideas and things like that. Then Quizlet, which is a really good studying app. You get sets of different flashcards that you can use to study different topics. And then the last app I have in here is Amazon, which I've been using recently to try and find different things for YouTube and all of that stuff. Then the last three apps I have is Messages, which is self-explanatory. Then I have Wattpad, which I've been obsessed with recently. I've been reading a couple books, so if you know any good ones that you recommend that I could read, Leave them in the description box below because I'm interested in finding some more stuff. One that I would recommend is She's With Me. That was amazing. I love that so much. It's not done yet and the writer's still in the process of writing it, but definitely recommend checking that out if you're looking for a good book. And then the last app is Camcord, and this is kind of boring, so I'm going to delete this. I never actually used this. Goodbye. And that is it for all the apps I have on the three pages. Then lastly, I have the four apps in the bottom. I have WhatsApp, which I use to text people. To be honest, I mostly use Snapchat. But if I do need to text my mom or anything like that, I will use that. Then YouTube, which is self-explanatory. I love making YouTube videos and watching them. I'm subscribed to a ton of people. Yeah, this is what I do when I'm bored and in my free time and all of that stuff. Then Safari, which is self-explanatory. And Spotify is what I use to listen to music because I think it's easier. I have a couple of public playlists that you can follow if you want. I have a rap one that I've recently been listening to a lot. And then I also have a summer 2016 one which you can follow. My at is just the same as my Instagram, Hannah underscore Herman 02. And that is it for everything I have on my iPhone 7. I'm obsessed with this phone and definitely recommend upgrading if you have a 6 or a 5S. If you have a 6S then I don't think there's that much of a difference except for color and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm obsessed with this phone. If you happen to enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you aren't subscribed to my channel and would like to see more of me. Also, I'm really curious if you found any new apps to download on your phone, so let me know down below. And yeah, that is it for this video. I'm sorry I've been gone for so long, but I promise I have a ton planned and look forward to Halloween videos. And yeah, that is it, so I will see you in my next video. Bye! Wedding. And it soups works. <clears throat> what if we all took advantage of everything like fashion hands? All of them is just money for stash and all the limited credit transactions. Hello. Hello. Hi, Hannah. But I just wanted to say hello to your fans. Oh. Okay, you're on <laughs> camera. And that I purposely called you so I could be in this video and I love your fans. Yeah, I love them too. <laughs> Bye, see ya. Bye guys, love you.